I'm Deanna Field from the Pennsylvania Medical Society's Practice Support Team. We're talking about MIPS reporting with Dr. Jan Sidoroff of the Care Center Collaborative. Dr. Sidoroff, welcome. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. Great. We're talking with many of the smaller practices here, and they haven't yet started reporting for the 2017 MIPS program. Is it too late for them to avoid a penalty? Absolutely not. The deadline for reporting isn't until March 31st of 2018, so there's still four months to pull together the data. There's plenty of time. Uh, it does involve some work, but it's well worth it to get that data in by March 31st. Great. What's the best path moving forward? You know, the Medical Society has an excellent partner with a company called Mingle Analytics, which provides a turnkey solution for practices of all sizes that may want to get into MIPS reporting. It works with practices that um, down to the solo practitioner level. Uh, it'll work with pra practices that only have paper charts. Uh, but even if you're a complex practice and even if you're a larger practice who are also struggling with this, mm -hmm. Mingle offers a great solution. If you'd like to learn more about how the collaborative can assist you, please contact Anita Brazil. And remember, PA Med members can receive a free, no obligation analysis of their practices, financial performance, productivity, and more.